Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to change out the OS on the Pinebook Pro using the eMMC Flash tool. Now it doesn't have to be the specific one, I don't believe, uh, but I think, if I recall correctly, this is the cheapest one that you can get for a USB eMMC Flash tool, and it's from Pine64, so I just got it with my Pinebook Pro. And uh, you just insert this into just about any computer and you can flash it. Uh, now there's, let's see how many, 10 screws around here. The back ones are long and then all of these I believe are the same. So you just gotta go around the perimeter. Uh, I don't think it really matters which way you uh, take them out, although I would recommend holding onto them. So maybe, grab yourself a little spot to throw them. And I'll just go around undoing each one of these. Just a real quick note, uh, this is the length of the long screws, and it actually is these, the back screws along with the middle too, so it's the fronts which are short. Okay, so once you have all the screws out, you should just be able to lift up on, I just kind of lift up in the back. And uh, just keep in mind that these speakers actually, well for me, they like sticking to the back piece there. So I'm just kind of pulling it off with my finger. And that's what the inside of my Pinebook Pro looks like. I don't know what yours would, but uh, there's mine. I guess there's a, it's a little dirty in there, but yeah, these speakers don't actually like staying in place. So, uh, you also might get the pad right here, the thermal pad, that may or may not stay on the CPU. But either way, just hold on to that as that's important. Uh, right here, you can see 64 gig. Uh, that's what you're probably going to have unless you, uh, there's some criteria you have to meet to have the 128 gig, or if you change it out. Uh, sometimes it doesn't like coming out for me, so I just kind of use the edge of the tool. That should be okay, as it's just PCB on PCB, and then it should pop right out. Uh, I wouldn't bother touching anything else, and just make sure that you don't short anything out in here, and you should be just fine. Uh, now, with the tool, what you want to do is take these two, and you'll kind of feel it click in there. Just try to match those two plastics up, and... It should click in there and stay uh, hover above, just like that. And then we'll insert this into the computer. Once it completes, you should get a screen kind of like this. And then all you have to do is you just have to take it out like so, and then get this piece off. All right, so once it completes, all you have to do is uh, pull this out and just kind of pop it off like that. That might not be the best way for longevity. I was kind of putting a, you know, it's kind of twisting that there. So you could try pulling it straight off, but I have yet to have any issues with that. And you just got to put it back in the laptop. All right, so back in the laptop, the way this goes back in, as uh, hopefully you remembered in the past couple minutes, uh, it just kind of sits in there. I just kind of feel around, and then you'll hear it click in, and it will sit level and you can kind of push it down and it goes back and that should be it. Uh, now what you want to do is try booting it up but uh, you should reassemble it first otherwise I think you can actually damage the hinge. Alright so now to go reassembling it here's the back panel. I set the thermal pad on there and then I'll just set that on there gently and these really short screws go on the front and then these longer ones go in the middle and back. Okay, so you can now make an attempt to boot the laptop here. It's got power, and uh, I'll just leave it for a minute to see if it boots up. Sure enough, it's booted up and looking good. There we go. Hopefully that uh, shows you how to do the EMMC flash on the Pinebook.